Climate change is the Earth's change in uh, climate through the release of greenhouse gases by human activities such as carbon dioxide, methane and other gases and that those gases are trapped in the atmosphere and they, they're causing global temperature to rise and also uh, change the climatic conditions of the earth. The scientists have been able to produce historical records of temperature and evidence of climate change can also be seen in melting ice caps, Antarctic uh, ice cap change, lots of glacial change as well um, and the evidence is there also in the temperature record and, and other scientific signs are showing that climate change really is happening and it does exist. We're going to see a lot more um, extreme weather events uh, through climate change. Um, areas of that are currently quite wet are going to become drier and areas that are currently sort of dry are going to become wetter. We're going to see a lot more frequent um, extreme weather events like cyclones and other um, climatic effects like drought and the Australian uh, nation will really have to sort of come up with ad adaptation strategies and, and mitigation for those um, extreme weather events going forward. Australian businesses, like any other Australians and, and the global uh, people, are really going to have to make efforts to reduce our overall carbon footprint um, for Australia. Currently that's about 550 million tonnes um, per annum. Every Australian has the ability and every Australian business has the ability to make a, a big impact on climate change by reducing their energy, reducing their travel, reducing their waste. Um, all these things that we take for granted in our day-to-day -day activities can be reduced and can have a big impact on climate change. Carbon footprint is working out your company or your individual carbon emissions throughout a year or month or day. And those, that carbon footprint is a representation of all your activities that you undertake and the emissions associated with, that, with those activities. Um, and that can be the use of energy for your computer and, and energy within your office building, or it can mean the emissions from the travel that you undertake, going to work by your car or travelling on an aeroplane. All those emissions add up together to, to come into a carbon footprint. Well, climate change is really going to create a a different environment. Um, there's going to be lots of more, lots more extreme weather events, which will affect businesses, um, whether in the mining sector or agriculture. All these uh, events are going to add up and um, really affect Australian businesses and how they perform. Um, a good example is um, insurance. Um, more and more with these more uh, extreme events insurers will have to be start paying out premiums will go up and that really has a, a really major effect on the bottom line of all australian businesses all australians and and australian businesses have to react um, and also adapt to the phenomenon of climate change now that can be done by minimizing your own impact or minimizing your company's impact through energy efficiency, through better um, transport, reducing your travel, all these impacts that you can reduce yourself to reduce your overall carbon impact and also reduce climate change as a whole. Businesses need to start um, adapting and, and really reacting to climate change as a whole. And not only is that um, a, providing a, a benefit to globally, but it can also reduce your costs um, at on-site. Uh, for instance, by switching off a uh, photocopier overnight, you can save enough energy to produce a whole copy of Tolstoy's War and Peace. That's about 350 pages per night uh, for one photocopier. So if you add all those um, the photocopiers, laptops, computer screens, lighting systems, energy systems, and combine them together, that's a huge reduction of energy and also a huge reduction of um, climate change every year. It should be, climate change should be a priority for business, um, not only 
uh, you adapting to the globe around you, but also you're um, helping to find new markets and new drivers for climate change related products and services. Um, and also, it's a license to operate. Um, if your company's not doing anything about climate change and the rest of the world is, it doesn't make you look very clever um, and really doesn't give your company an overall responsible nature. If we do nothing, um, we run the risk of massive uh, sea level change, climate, climatic change, food shortages, water shortages. It's really not why can't we or why shouldn't we, but we have to. We have to do something about climate change. We have to make the changes now. So not only for ourselves, but also for future generational um, equity going forward. So uh, the fact that our grandchildren and, and children and their children will have the same resources and, and same opportunities that we have. Really, the, your business needs to look at its own environmental impacts and also work out its carbon footprint. Because if you can measure your environmental impacts and, and climate change, uh, greenhouse gas emissions, then you can mo monitor that going forward and you can also manage that um, carbon footprint. By knowing how much energy you're using, by knowing how much water and waste that you're producing, you can set in uh, programs to sort of manage that and set targets and objectives that will not only reduce your environmental impact, but reduce your greenhouse gas emissions and then create a response to climate change from your company.